Hey, it's a, definitely a boat that'll turn heads. She's been painted blue by the owner. Um, Two-part polyurethane. Right now it's got a, it's got two sets of sails, two complete sets of sails, a set of almond sails that came with the boat, and then a set of north racing sails. The jib right now is the north racing sail. It's sort of dirty, but uh, it's in pretty good shape. Needs some stitching uh, on the on the weather canvas, but we might be able to get to that. Um, forward in that locker is a comes with a Danforth uh, chain and road, real easy to get to, uh, with a tie to make sure it's held up. Every all the gear on this is Harkin, all all high quality stuff. Uh, the all of the cleats are polished stainless heavy duty with backing plates none of those cheap chrome or aluminum ones uh, if you notice the tow rail is got it's molded into the boat and it's raised on sort of an angle which gives you great footing when you're healing sailing and coming up on the foredeck uh, very comfortable to walk on inboard sail tracks for the genoa so that um, this boat this boat points very nicely You'll notice that everything's rigged very well back to the cockpit, including one line reefing and um, all of the all of the sail controls all go uh, aft. The uh, forward hatches, obviously clear Lexan Bomar and uh, the owner, former owner, he's added a vent fan in it that keeps the air circulating. That provides all that light over that forward berth. And you can see there's the four open ports on this side, four on the other. And there's three aft in the stateroom. Um, lifeline stanchions are nice stainless steel, double lifelines tapered, um, more expensive. Everything on this boat, the stainless, everything is is top quality. Um, it's got two custom bimini's on it, one for the one for the captain and one for the crew. Um, and uh, you can also notice on those they're high quality stainless. You can see the stainless. He actually put stainless. Um, handrails to come around the cockpit which is very handy uh, self-tailing winches for the genoa and uh, the winches for the halyards and the reefing have uh, um, stop blocks on them so they work very well uh, those are the hatches for the going into the cockpit i told you they're a plexi with a screen on the inside so you can remove the plexi and have more air coming in without worrying about the bugs more of those mesh bags um, nice uh, main traveler right there in front of the helmsman with uh, traveler blocks. Uh, molded seat, very comfortable for the captain. Uh, no matter what angle of sail you're on, you got seats in the back in the stern pulpit for people to sit on. Let's see if I can get over here without making you dizzy. I've got plenty of room down here, and you can see how big the cockpit is. It's very comfortable. Um, on this side of this seat is a that's a uh, propane locker that he built into this. It's got the propane tank plus a grill tank. It does come with a propane grill that mounts right there on the stern pulpit. Got a custom ladder. The ladder actually has handrails make it easier to get in and out. He's kind of afraid, not afraid, that's not the right word, but he can't swim. So he wanted to make sure he could get in and out pretty easily. Um, Precision calls that an ice chest. I don't think that's an ice chest. That's uh, <laughs> there's no insulation under it, but uh, it makes for a handy locker for like search lights. So um, he did add there's your roller furling. He did add midship cleats, which makes it m much easier to maneuver and dock. And, uh, he added the hand the stainless steel handrails on the cabin top for going forward in weather. Um, all in all, it's uh, just a superb boat. Um, and it, remember, it comes with a uh, high-end uh, Road King 30-foot um, capable uh, sailboat trailer with an extension tongue already built into it. So uh, don't think this boat will last. Make an offer. We need to sell it. He wants to downgrade to a Ranger 22 or 23. He's just, this boat's getting to be too much for him. All right. Thanks. From the galley, you go through a solid teak door into the aft stateroom and it's a very comfortable double berth goes up underneath the cockpit and it's plenty big enough it's got three opening ports one two three there so there's plenty of air that comes in it's a very comfortable berth uh, inside is also engine room access the reason you can get so much room in this boat is because the engine is in that box right there 
and but you have access nice access plates deck plates not this just unscrew some board plates but you have nice access on um, both uh, from here and from the head side and the whole front of the engine compartment comes off so you got plenty of access to it if you ever have a problem with it this box does disassemble very easily with screws they didn't bung them which was smart I've seen people do that so um, very well built here for 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 a 28 foot boat plenty of room in the aft stateroom okay starting you can see going into the um, cabin first of all it's a low profile hatch so you don't have much to trip over but it's got great drainage out the back which we'll show you when we do the exterior huge hatch openings uh, the doors are plexiglass removable plexiglass with screen already built into them so like a screen doors so the open the the interior is pretty interesting because it's very open for a 28 foot boat so the galleys over to port um, nice big ice chest there on the left cutting board over the sink he installed a propane two burner stainless uh, very nice plastimo uh, propane stove with a custom built propane locker in the cockpit that's a trash can with a battery underneath it that's a custom built custom board extension for the countertop that flips up you've got a full seven foot berth so it goes under this under the v-berth so you got a full seven berth foot berth there and another berth here probably more for kids uh, it's not seven feet so a short adult the table of course uh, comes up on both sides so you got a full size table uh, for a boat and then a nice big v-berth with um and the, the the closures so you can close it off for privacy and if you look there's 10 opening ports in here and these aren't the old uh normal ports these are nice very nice opening locking hatches with screens and there's 10 of them so there's tons of air moving through here there's lots of little improvements made by the uh, engineer owner the cutting board and the propane locker uh, that's that white piece of, uh, of plastic is for the cockpit table it's for the cockpit uh, it fits onto the pedestal so you can put charts and things on it uh, he races so he was using it for that of course it comes with the boat comes with everything you need to go sailing uh, poles spinnaker poles uh, life rafts, um, a life sling, uh, pretty much everything you need. He's He was very um, meticulous. Built all the custom mesh bags for storage all over the boat. He's got a Zantrak um, uh, voltage DC voltage meter with uh, controls for the inverter. He's got a hard inverter, 1000 watt, 50 amp charger 1000 watt inverter a nice icom a vhf and a icom handheld the standard uh, voltmeter uh, volt panel 220 volt 12 volt volt panel uh, oh that that teak shelf there is custom he built that too that's not in that's not standard in these boats uh, flip up table for the um, navigators so if we go so in an aft you've got of course if i t turn around here the aft to port is the stateroom, and aft to starboard is the head. So if we open up the head, you've got a nice big area in here with um, <laughs> you actually got a hanging wet locker, um, and then shower of course from the sink. Everything's all teak. There's an AC outlet in there. Plenty of storage. Plenty of room to stand up because it's kind of on center line, just off center line of the boat. There's tons of room to stand up. Tons of foot room in there. Uh, well built, well thought out. Talk about the engine access. These are the three steps down from the cockpit. The top locker, these are all small lockers. Uh, the top locker comes open and there's access to your quick engine parts, things like that. That's his engine log that he's kept since he's on the boat. And then uh, what happens is those other two steps just pick right out. And I'll show you that. So there's the two steps with the uh, storage lockers attached to them. The whole thing comes out just slides right out gives you good access to everything you need there's your 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 belts you get to your filters from the other side and there's your engine start and battery right in front of it with a bolted down battery casing so it's a, a really good design it looks kind of tight but it's not because it gives you everything you need uh, without any problem getting to it because there's access over in the stateroom and over in the head so pretty ingenious for to give you extra room in the cockpit and also extra room for that big berth for the master stateroom. From the galley, 
you go through a solid teak door into the aft stateroom and it's a very comfortable double berth goes up underneath the cockpit and it's plenty big enough it's got three opening ports one two three there so there's plenty of air that comes in it's a very comfortable berth uh, inside is also engine room access the reason you can get so much room in this boat is because the engine is in that box right there and but you have access nice access plates deck plates not this just unscrew some board plates but you have nice access on um, both uh, from here and from the head side and the whole front of the engine compartment comes off so you got plenty of access to it if you ever have a problem with it this box does disassemble very easily with screws they didn't bung them which was smart I've seen people do that so um, very well built here for 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 a 28 foot boat plenty of room in the aft stateroom